All right. Hello, athletes, family, friends, and coaches. We want to welcome you to the Northeast Regional Championship hosted by the World Ninja League. Uh, today, we're going to be going over the two different course types, uh, the flow course and the challenge course. This video specifically is for the challenge course for our kids, male and female. Um, for this event, all the athletes are going to uh, run the challenge course. And the way that our challenge course works is there is going to be um, the athlete will be able to go and start their run. If they fail an obstacle, they'll be able to retry that obstacle. If they fail that obstacle two times in a row, then their course is over. Um, if they were to fail an obstacle and then complete it, they'll be able to continue. And then they will also have one more retry to be able to then complete another obstacle. Uh, this is going to be scored based off of whoever has gotten the furthest, the fastest within uh, their time. Um, for this course, I want to also say that all of our platforms are non-skippable uh, due to our close proximity rule. Um, so all of the platforms are going to be um, utilized during the course. Um, anything that is talked about in this course is going to be what is in play. Anything that is not talked about in this course is going to be out of play. I want to make one note about our pull pads. Um, all of our pull pads will be in play for around the, uh, around the obstacle, but you're not going to be able to utilize the top. So I don't want to see anyone trying to grab up here and go inside of it. So you can hug it, you can touch it, whatever you need, but we just don't want to go inside the top of those pull pads. Um, <clears throat> So now that we have our basic rules, we're going to start to go over a little bit more of the full uh, challenge course rules and our um, athlete here. So just to remind everybody, um, you are going to be able to utilize what we talked about. Um, and then the last thing before we start actually is the buzzer here. We want to make sure that when you guys get to the end, you firmly press the buzzer down so that um, you can make all of our cool Ninja Works lights and smoke and sounds go off to signify your clear of the course. All right, uh, before we get going, I want to thank you all again for watching this video. If you have any questions after the video is done, please reach out to one of our World Ninja League representatives and we'll be able to help you with the course. So let's get started with our first obstacle, which is going to be um, right here is our little parkour lane here. You guys are going to have this red, red platform as the start platform. You're going to be able to utilize uh, these black um, balance trainers, this green trapezoid and this tra uh, other uh, balance trainer here. Your finished platform is going to be this red platform. You can use this bar to uh, help steady yourself. Um, this is also a start stop platform. So it'll be the platform, sorry, stop, start platform for your next obstacle. So please do not overshoot it or come off of it. So we'll get a demonstration here. And that is a clear. Well done. All right, moving on to our second obstacle. Again, this is your start platform. You're going to be able to then utilize the, uh, these bars that are in this obstacle. And then these red rings, red and yellow, sorry, um, all the way through to land on this red platform here. This is going to be your finished platform here, this red platform. All right, so let's get a demonstration. And that is a clear. Well done. All right, making our way over here to our next obstacle, the spider bite. This green platform that our tester is standing on is going to be your start platform. You'll be able to utilize this red ring, the two spider web looking obstacles, and this uh, green and black landing platform. So this is going to be the start platform for your next obstacle, so please do not overshoot it. Um, and let's get a demonstration. And clear, well done. All right, moving on to our next obstacle. So the green platform that the athlete is currently standing on is going to be your start platform. You will then be able to utilize uh, this bar here, which is gonna slide on down and you're gonna land on this purple landing platform right here to finish the obstacle. And demonstration. Clear, well done. All right, making our way over here. 
Your start platform is going to be this red box back here, this red platform. You will then be able to utilize, again, like I said, this pull pad. Remember, just nothing on top. You will then be able to use the blue tops of this obstacle. You will make your way all the way through and your landing platform is going to be this red platform again. This first bar is also still in play to be able to balance yourself when you get to this last platform. And demonstration. And it's clear. Well done. All right, moving on to our next obstacle. It's going to be the up for grabs. You'll be able to utilize this trapeze bar that's currently right here. You will be able to utilize this ax, these two rings, and your finished platform is going to be this red platform up here. This red platform on top. All right, so let's get a demonstration, please. And clear. So this is the start platform for your next obstacle, so please do not overshoot it. All right, moving into our next obstacle. Again, like I said, this red platform here is gonna be your start platform. You'll be able to utilize this red topper, the blue parts of this rail, the top of the lily pad, this bar, red topper, and your landing platform will be this blue pad here. All right, demonstration please. And clear, well done. All right, moving on to our cliffhanger. This big red podium platform is going to be the start for your next obstacle. Um, so you'll be able to start here. You'll be able to utilize the ledge on front and back of this, your ring, T ledge. There's then also another blue ledge here. This black ring is in play. And then every single hold on this side and this side and the bottom are all in play for you to then make your way to land on this red platform here as your finished platform. This is also the finished platform. You wanna make sure that you pass this plane completely because your next star platform is over there. So make sure you pass that plane. Best rule of thumb that we've done for the course so far is kind of just come in here, touch that wall, kind of makes you force you past that plane and then you can make your way to the next obstacle. So demonstration. And clear, well done. All right, you're gonna make your way on over here. This blue platform on the ground is gonna be your next platform. You're gonna then be able to utilize all of these steps on the way up, this black ring, and then those bars up there to make your way to land onto this black platform to finish this obstacle. This is a hands-only obstacle. And clear, well done. All right, moving on over here to our deja vu. This red platform up here is gonna be your start platform. You're gonna then be able to utilize this bar to then swing yourself and land on this red platform here. This is just a finished platform, so if you touch it and overshoot it, that is perfectly fine. Clear, well done. All right, moving over here back to this blue platform again. This is gonna be the start platform for your next obstacle. You're gonna then be able to utilize the three cannonballs we have here. Remember that the hardware on top, this is all out of play. You are just grabbing the cannonball on top. All right, hands on the obstacle. Landing platform is this red platform here. And it's clear. All right, making our way over here. This platform here that has the number three on it is going to be your start platform. You're gonna be able to utilize this rope, any of these bars, so this bar, that bar, whatever you need to be able to then jump off and land on this green platform as your finished platform. Demonstration. And it's clear, well done. Moving over to our final two obstacles. 
So this red platform here is gonna be the start platform for the next obstacle. You'll be able to utilize this starter chuck, the, this, uh, the two red balls and this other starter chuck here. And your finished platform is gonna be this blue platform right here. All right, and demonstration. And clear, well done. Moving on to our final obstacle, the Angry Birds. This red or, or black, whichever part you wanna stand on, is going to be your start platform. You will then be able to utilize the Angry Birds uh, outsides here where the blue is, and then this uh, blue donut, the red ring, and your landing platform is going to be all of this wonderful red platform here, right? So you got a big landing area for you to be able to finish this obstacle off. Once you have landed anywhere on this red, you will make your way on over to hit the buzzer here to signify that you've completed your run. All of our super cool smoke, lights, sounds where all of our ninja works um, are gonna go off and signify the completion of your run. All right, we'll get a demonstration. And clear, well done. So that is the challenge course for the kids, male and female. We wanna wish everyone the best of luck and we can't wait to see you this weekend.